come on build nope crashed this is why you don't put your trust in ai oh my god where did we go wrong Attempt number 54, and my AI is still imploding. I got inspired by Alpha Star and got into the custom StarCraft 2 AI world. From the quirky to the insane, I mean, these bots redefine the limits of the game, and I wanted to build one. Problem is, I don't code. I didn't take computer science, I just love StarCraft 2. And in this very first episode, I'm going to use AI to help me build more AI and figure out how to get it to stop crashing and start winning against a stock computer. Because that is the first step before taking on the best bots and eventually the world. I mean, really, how hard could it be? Well, hello there. This is Bits of Code, the show about what it takes to code a StarCraft 2 AI that wins. I'm Drekken, and I'm diving into building a bot that will beat the stock computer from very little coding knowledge. But first, do you remember 2018 when AlphaStar, the machine learning AI from Google, went up against Mana and TLO? I mean, watching those matches and seeing AlphaStar, the first thing that went through my head was, The second thing was that this was a whole new world where an AI could watch millions of replays and then suddenly be pro players. And when I found out that there was a framework that anyone could give it a go and build it themselves, I felt this one piece moment. Except with white papers, repositories, and math. And this was a lot to wrap my head around. But before I gave up, I stumbled onto the StarCraft 2 AI community. These people were building scripted and machine learned bots on a more obtainable scale. I mean, I had to run a tournament for that. Probots, maybe you've heard of it. But it wasn't until Scarlet showed up that things really clicked. But Scarlet on the regroup is. Oh! Yeah, that Scarlet. I mean, who knew on top of being a pro, she could also code. And then she used her knowledge to create the most efficient four gate bot that anyone had ever seen. And that's all it really did. Make a lot of stalkers and then tear through the ladder. But she eventually got busy with pro gamer life stuff and stopped working on it. And that got me thinking. Most SE2 AIs are built by talented coders but with rudimentary knowledge of the game. And I have been studying and making guides for the game for years. I mean, could I take the number one spot if I built a bot? But to do that, I'll first have to teach myself a coding language, and then at the very least, beat the very easy AI. So I ended up going with Python because it's got the most tutorials, open source bots, and templates to draw from. I'm building on Windows, but also my Linux laptop. For the editor, I went with Visual Studio Code, mainly for my buddy, well, actually two buddies, ChatGPT and Copilot. Now, I'm not sure I need to introduce ChatGPT, but Copilot is an AI tool developed by Microsoft that works with Visual Studio Code. Its job is to make suggestions and assist while I'm coding. It knows what I'm working on, so it's got the context for the answers. Both of these tools should help shortcut my progress. Starting with ChatGPT, I dived into learning code. To get started, I gave ChatGPT a prompt. Later on, when I mentioned that I was using it for programming a StarCraft 2 bot, it began to tailor the concepts and examples towards the goal. It all felt pretty relatable and smooth sailing. After a couple of days, I was ready to put together my bot. I downloaded a template and since ChatGPT and I had such a smooth time, I was ready to let Copilot take the wheel, but... Let's change our bot's name to DragonBot. I got the template running, and now I gotta see if it works. Let's try it. Come on, terminal. Oh, there we go. No, what's this? Deprecation warning. Uh, something's scouting me. What's happening? Oh, then it comes and kills. Okay. All right, that's good though. At least it runs. It's a good start. Next step is gotta get that bot to kill that computer. Let's try equals, oops, 
self units probe random. Ooh, you knew, you knew, girl, you knew. Let's just see this happens and see what I pull up the documentation. Oh, no, it broke. Did I break you? Can you check out what broke my bot? Issue with how you're selecting your units. Oh, well, okay, we're gonna try this again. Come on, build. Nope, crashed. It's like it's learning alongside me. All right, please load up. Okay, we're back to square one, which is it loads. Let's start to first find out if we have a launch. I have a Met Nexus unit type probe. Okay, all right, okay. I think we're cooking with gas, baby. Just run. Oh my God, I was really confident with this. Where did we go wrong? I jumped into a Python SC2 template, figuring that Copilot would just draw from existing code, which it did, but I couldn't make heads or tails of what it was giving me. So I just took its suggestions at face value, and this led to a crash, then more crashes, and frustration. It wasn't until I changed my prompts from the vague, write code to build me a probe, to exploration questions of, how does this highlighted code work? Did I start to make progress? Yeah. Okay, well, it didn't build, but it didn't crash. So, I don't know. That's progress. Maybe that's actually the problem. Maybe I need to select a Nexus. Random Nexus. That doesn't look terrible. Okay, let's let's see what happens. Let's accept this. I feel like it might crash it though, but let's see what happens. Yep, I thought so. This is why you don't put your trust in AI. I want to go back to where I was when I was working, when it was working. Ah, self.town hall. Self.town hall ready dot random train unit ID probe. Unit type probe. Let's see what this does. Oh, 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 oh. Did you build something? Girl, did you build something? Oh my God, you did. Oh snap. Oh my God, you did. You can't build anymore because you're a supply block, but oh my God, we did it. Oh my God. Finally, build it. Step one's complete. We've got to build probes. I think maybe the next step will be to figure out how to build a pylon. It was at this point, I actually gave serious thought into simply just doing a worker rush bot. Because in theory, that would still be killing the very easy AI. But you know what? I decided to give it some more thought and do some more research. I gotta get some background knowledge. And the next step I think is going to be critical is going through the documentation and figuring out just how everything works. We'll go from building a probe to pylon so that we are no longer supply block. We're going to pretty much go the same route that it was to build the probes. I'm going to start off, as always, with asking Copilot. You get my bot to build a pylon that it can afford when the supply is two away from max. I refined my prompts for Copilot being more specific, which improved the quality of the answers, but I start to get tripped up by syntax. It started to invent its own without me knowing. I can agree with that. Let's just run it and see what happens. Did not, did not build. Okay, let's go back through the logic. Let's get rid of this. I might want to put this back later. Just do, let's get rid of build. I don't really need ready, but oh, that's fine. Await self do. I want you to explain my own code to me. Well. Your code, explain this. If you're trying to command a worker unit to build a pylon near your next, you should first select a worker and then use the build action. Okay, we'll bring back the probe into it. Though I don't know. Probe. Self worker random. Where did I, did I ever do that before? No, I've never actually defined a probe. Maybe I'm not selecting the actual nexus. I think my problem is in here. Define probe, probe build unit, I type ID in your nexus. I'll take this, I'm a little skeptical. Okay, let's try this again. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go back. Let's break this down differently in different logic. And self already pending. I'm not gonna do and self. I'm actually gonna bring it into the loop. Then we go if self can afford. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The documentation says there's a build function. I wanna try that. The wait self, ha! Huh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Why weren't you suggesting that earlier? Let's see. I don't know if this self.build function works. Eep, something is amiss. Is that this? Are you missing it here? I have a feeling that's where you're missing it. See, I feel like my, my problem is the do and the build. I'm not confident in knowing whether build or do is the actual iteration. Oh, oh, he built something. He built something, he built something. Why did you build something? Oh my God, he built something, but why? This is good news though, because I know now that self.build works. What it is, is might be my logic. Something is wrong with my logic. Maybe what I'll do is actually 
define nexus. Nexus equals self town hall ready random. Await self build pylon near nexus. Nexus, just nexus. I, I did notice that it took it to attack the bot before it decided to do that. So I don't know. Let's see what happens. Maybe I shoot it first. Yeah, I didn't do it this time. Let's have a check supply first before anything. What happens? Oh my God, it worked. Wow. Oh, okay. I'm spilling them randomly. I'll take it though. <laughs> He's building, just building probes forever. They're not in any particular logical sequence. Oh my God, this is gonna, uh oh. I, th I think it killed, I, th I think my bot imploded. That's fine. Let's build something. We need to build a warp gate or gateway. To get the bot to build a pylon, I need to get the syntax and logic right, the order of the code. So to add gateways, I pulled up the code of an example bot to give me guardrails for co-pilot's answers. Let's, uh, let's inspire. Expect this code. If self can afford unit type ID gateway and self structure unit type ID gateway amount is less than two, pylon equals self structure unit type pylon ready. If pylon exists, if self can afford unit type ID gateway, await self build gateway unit type ID near pylon random. Print gateway built. I don't think you really need to say that. Eh, why not? Let's find out. So far, I feel like I can check its code. Really, if it builds it, then that's it. Bam. Bo! Oh, you did it. Bam, you did it. We built two gateways. We're flying now. This code worked. I think now the next step will be to build zealots. I think we're ready to build zealots. Let's do it. Let's build 12. I feel like co-pilot now and I, we get each other. So I'm gonna actually leave this to it one more time. Okay, let's see what you come up with. So attack gateway. This loop goes through each idle zealot and moves it, attack the enemy closest to this gateway. Um. Okay, well, I didn't want to actually attack. I just wanted to move. Can I just move it? Because I don't actually want to attack. I just wanted to move. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's see what happens. So far, this logic makes sense. I believe in you, little bot. I believe in you. Let's see what happens. Okay, gateway. Gateway. <gasps> it built It built this up. <gasps> oh my God, it attacked itself. Oh my God. All right, well, let's take this part of the code out. I knew the attack function on there was going to be problematic. I just knew it. Well, let's just do this. That's fine. I think all we have to do is that once it reaches 12, tell it to attack. I bet you I could probably figure this part out too. If I said something like, if Len Zealots, that's actually what I wanted to do, strangely enough, but I actually want it to be 12, equal to 12. I mean, yeah, this might be it. This might be the end of the easy AI, the moment of truth, or this just crashes and dies. All right, build, build, build. Oh my God, almost at 12. Oh my God, where are you going? Oh my God. Yes, Yosha. Yeah, my little bot beat the very easy AI, which seems like an easy accomplishment for most people. But man, think about what it took to get here. No match for me. I'm coming for you, Eris. Top of ladder. There is definitely a rush after seeing your little bot go and do what you're told to do. But I have to say, ChatGPT Copilot. Love them a lot, but you need to do some homework in order to guide them in the right direction. Next episode, I get a little bit of help on how to tackle better resource management and find out if my bot is ready for a stronger opponent or is it back to the scrap pile. Also, all the resources I use will be in the description just in case you want to get started yourself. Hit subscribe so we'll see you next time.